Mayor de Blasio talks the talk about creating jobs and paying people at least $15 an hour, but is he walking the walk? Critics say political donations do some of the talking for him. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us now with more on this. Marsha. Well, Christine and Chris, I had a very upsetting conversation with City Councilman Rory Lansman today. He told me the mayor's zeal to curb the horse carriage industry was so, and I quote, a political debt that can be repaid. He called it unfortunate. Carriage drivers say the very same thing. This is Lucky, a carriage horse who, because of a deal brokered by Mayor de Blasio, is about to lose his job and possibly his life. What about the horse? Ian McKeever, a horse carriage driver for 28 years, is furious about the mayor's deal to reduce the number of horses from 220 to 75 and kill lots of jobs. He doesn't care about my job. We're uh, middle class, hard working people with an awful lot of minority drivers in this business who are going to lose their jobs. I thought he was about the minorities. I thought he would help the minorities. McKeever levels a serious charge. This is payback for him. Payback to political donors, he charges, who are either interested in the valuable West Side real estate where the stables are located or are animal rights activists. Here's the tally. 175 jobs in the horse carriage industry lost. Over $1 million in political donations to help de Blasio from anti-horse carriage interests. And it's not the first time. Last year, the mayor was all set to rein in Uber cars reportedly to help protect yellow cabs. 10,000 job opportunities could have been lost. Over $550,000 donated to the mayor by yellow cab interests. Team de Blasio says what motivates the administration is doing what's best for the city, for the men and women who perform this work, and for the animals. But Councilman Rory Lansman says. I think I have a pretty good antenna when, uh, when I see politics. And really, this is a, a political situation from start to finish. Uh, the horses are, are well taken care of. Uh, the, the, the drivers and the, and the stable hands uh, have good jobs. There's no need for us to be making any kind of change. And really, so that you know, a political debt can be repaid. It's unfortunate. Well, the carriage drivers say they will go to court, and so will the pedicab drivers, who will also lose jobs in the deal. But while all this goes on, poor Lucky the horse wonders where his next meal will be coming from. Chris, Christine. All right, Marcia, keep us updated. I Thank will. you.